37 people, including leading members of Spain's ruling Popular Party, have gone on trial in Madrid accused of involvement in a massive corruption network. Three former PP treasurers are among the defendants in Spain's biggest corruption trial for years. Businessman Francisco Correa is alleged to have been the ringleader who handed out bribes in exchange for contracts. The suspects were heckled as they arrived at the national court. Francisco Correa, who faces up to 125 years if found guilty, has already spent three years in custody and his arrival was greeted with cries of Cor, Cor, run, run. He went by the nickname Don Vito, after the main character in the film The Godfather. The so-called Gurdal case has electrified Spain for years, since it was exposed by a civil servant in a Madrid suburb and the case taken on by renowned investigating Judge Baltasar Garzón. Judge Garzón was later taken off the case but not before allegations emerged of a network of companies linked to Mr. Correa being handed contracts in return for payments. Other defendants include long-standing XPP treasurer Luis Barcenas, who has also admitted running a slush fund from Switzerland and channeling cash donations to party officials. Health Minister Anna Motto resigned from her job when her husband was linked to the network. Although her husband is among the defendants, she escaped criminal charges. Although the case has for years been of great embarrassment for caretaker Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, he has not himself come under investigation. As the Gurdal trial got underway in Madrid's national court, another political corruption case was playing out in the next-door courtroom. Ex-IMF head Rodrigo Rato, who went on trial with 64 other bankers late last month, was a leading figure in Mr. Rajoy's PP. He denied doing anything wrong, in the face of allegations that luxury purchases were racked up with unofficial credit cards, in the years before the bank had to be bailed out with public money.